Welcome back everyone. I am here for my next model. Okay. The last model, this one and the next one, I might even do one more after that, are all about paint. I'm trying to learn new paint techniques. Okay. The paint te techniques I have now are fine, but I don't think the paint is up for them, if that makes any sense. I just got through spraying flat black paint, to me a paint, on the SR-71, and I like the results already way better than I ever got out of testers. It just feels better. It looks better. It went on smoother, okay? Hopefully that's not in my mind, and hopefully that wasn't beginner's luck. We're going to find out. That's why I'm building two or three really quick models that don't have much to them. This one probably has a lot more to it than the SR-71 did. It is the 747 with the Space Shuttle in transport by Academy. This is my first Academy model. I don't know what to expect out of that. This is a 120, 1288 scale. And from looking at it, we're looking at three or four different colors of paint here. So, this is going to require that I do some taping up. That's what I'm interested in next on this, seeing how well the Tamiya paint handles being taped. Okay? And I'm probably going to go to my local hobby shop in the next day or two and pick up some Tamiya um, primer, because I've never tried that before. The primers I've used are always rattle can, and this box doesn't want to open. Okay, we got her open. I'm not expecting a whole lot of model in this box. Doesn't look like I'm getting much out of the space shuttle. Molded in color. We got black and white. You know, this is a lot like the egg shuttle kit. Just shaped differently. Okay, about as many pieces too. It's about what I expected there. Here we have a couple of sprues. One is the display stand. I'm using the display stand that came with SR-71. Um, I'll probably use the display stand that comes with this too. Okay, aircraft display stands seem to work better with me than sci-fi display stands. I hate them. I always make a new stand in those cases, like I did on the egg shuttle. This doesn't look like this is a lot to it, and here's the 747 herself. Not many sprues, okay? There's one, two, three, four, five, six sprues. There are more sprues here than there is on the egg shuttle. The egg shuttle, I think, had four sprues. Uh, apparently, Academy is a Japanese company because all of that is in Japanese except for the bottom part. Okay. Um, I'm not going to pay any attention to that. I know all that. This is telling you how to remove things and how to put decals on. We know all that. Um, we have a sheet of decals right here. Okay. Not much on the decals, but those long, crazy ones always drive me nuts. I need to get into um, something like one of Round 2's models to really enjoy decal work. Like their 1701A in 1-2500 scale, 1-1000 scale. The directions are a single sheet fold out. Space Shuttle, you know, has like four steps to it. Not much at all. The 747 has a few more steps. Uh, if I'm going to put it on display stand, I don't think I need to use the landing gear. That is something I may or may not do. I think it might look better just on landing gear on a fixed on a board. That, so I might just do that, get a little piece of pine and make a nice little display base, maybe put a runway with the plane landing. We'll see. We'll see if I'm gonna put that much effort to it. Depends on how well I like the model. But the model itself, this one looks like it's gonna take me a couple of days to build if I'm careful and do all my scene filling like a good boy. So, this one's a little bit more complex, but not too much more from what I'm looking at. Okay, there's going to be some taping up for sure, because there's a lot of different paint colors on this thing. Does it even have paint calls? Yeah, it does have paint calls. But I think I'm going to go more with what I see on the box for my paint calls than anything. Okay. 
or I might get online and look up some photos. Photos of this thing should be easy enough to find. So there's the out-of-box review, one sheet of fold-out directions, a couple of how-to sheets with warnings, six sprues, okay, and all the clear parts are in amber. And it doesn't look like there's many of these clear parts. And there are holes for windshields and stuff, but no clear parts for them, which I find very interesting. So I might have to fix that. And I know how to fix that. It's called Micro Crystal Clear. Yeah, there, it's not even a windshield for the space shuttle. Yet we have windows in the space shuttle. Here, let me zoom in on this. Good. See, there's windows right there for the space shuttle. Yet, there's no sprue for those windows. Okay? Here is the clear sprue. The only window we have is right here. And we have two planes. We also have little bitty parts right here. But those are for the landing lights on the 747, I'm sure of that. There is no clear, clear sprue whatsoever in here. And look at the 747. We have a row of windows right there. And we have a big Mamba Jamba window, window at the front. Sorry, I'm off camera. So I'm going to have to improvise some windows on this. No way around that. Fun for me. Actually, that's sarcasm. I know how to do that. I've done it on other models. Again, Micro Crystal Clear is your friend when you need to make a small window and you don't have a window. Okay? It's something you learn when you're lighting sci-fi models. But when I did the um, protector, I cut out a lot of windows on it and I just used Crystal Clear to reform the windows. It works. You, it doesn't look as good as clear styrene wood, but it does work. All right, I'm gonna quit rambling. I'm gonna to get to it. I will inform you of any problems or difficulties along the way. See you in a bit. Okay, I'm back with the Space Shuttle 747. Um, I've done some preliminary work. The Space Shuttle is ready for paint. It didn't take much. I will give Academy kudos for that Space Shuttle because it went together real quickly. Here, let's zoom in on her so you guys can see her a little bit better. In a little too tight. Let's back this up a bit. There we go. Um, very few seams. The seams are where the black and white plastic touches, obviously. Um, along here, this this piece is external. If I do any filling on it, it'll be minor. Same thing right here. If I do any filling on this, it'll be minor. Very minor. Okay. I'm liking the space shuttle that came with this. Now, if it only had a windshield instead of just hollow windows, it would be much better. Much better. Okay? Now, let me adjust the camera downward so I'm not carrying these things around. The 747. This is another story. This thing was a pain to put together. A real pain. Okay? Major seam line splitting the hole right down the center. Seam line starts at the vertical stabilizer. A little bit of sanding work on that will be gone, but this major seam line is going to take a lot of work to remove. Just a lot. Okay? There were no pins to hold this windshield in place. So that was yet another major pain to assemble. On top of that, staying on camera. I don't know if you guys can see it. This thing's got some really weird molding lines on it right here. And until I put some paint to that, I won't know if that's going to show through the paint. I And it, they're on both sides. I really suspect that's going to come through on the paint. I really suspect it's going to be. And I've been itching to try Mr. Surfacer and that looks like that might be prime place to try Mr. Surfacer out. Okay? Just paint some on there and sand it down. I bet it'll get rid of those lines. 
The bad part is there are panel lines molded into the kit that run right near there. There's one running right here that will disappear when I do the sanding. But looking at the photos that came with the model itself, there really aren't many panel lines on this thing. I'm going to get online and dig out some better photos of the 747 because you know NASA is going to have a ton of them archived from old. Okay? So I can check and see if these panel lines really exist. If they don't, I'm just going to sand them right off. Okay, another thing, no windows here, just holes in the hole. I, I'm not a big fan of that. I hate to say it, I'm not. I'm going to have to take some micro crystal clear and patch those. But that's the last thing I do after painting and everything else, because if I do it now, they'll just paint over. Okay? Now, that's the body. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not happy with this thing. Really not happy with this thing. The wings went to bet together much better. The seam line is where the wings join to get, um, is splitting the wings in half where my fingers run right along that seam line. That seam line really wasn't bad. Okay, the bad spot of that seam line is going to be hidden when it glow, glues into the body of the plane. And it's the same on the other wing. Now, speaking of gluing into the body of the plane, that's something that concerns me because when it's in there, there's going to be a seam line there. But I suspect the real plane has a seam line there anyhow. So that might be just glue it in and forget about it kind of seam line. Because, you know, sometimes it's lucky when they occur that way. They did on the space shuttle part. Life is happy there. You know, wherever seam lines I have on this thing, are going to vanish when I paint it. So it's good. They're, they're, I'm just going to take them as lines for painting. I've got a lot of masking to do this, this to this thing. It might even get a white coat tonight. I'm trying to decide that. Okay? So that's where we stand on the 747 Space Shuttle Transport. I will do some more glue work and seam work on it tonight. I may paint the Space Shuttle tonight. We'll see. Okay? Well, that's it for now. See you next time.